after a stellar season in the men's 800, it is the men's eight lap event, Robbo. Cannot wait for this one, Mossy. National record there last year in this event. I'm really, really excited. It's also an, an area record as well, so um, yeah, we're really stoked. Well, Josh is our, our quickest runner, so we thought um, put him first, he'll mix it with everyone, hopefully be competitive, and he was. Then give it to me, hopefully I keep us there, and I did. did. And then Geordie, he was supposed to just, I guess, stay in his spot, but instead of staying in his spot, he took us up to, yeah. what? Fourth, third, yeah, and then Jared. It was going to be tough running against one of 142 guys, but did a great job. Nearly ended up getting third in the end. And uh, look, we weren't supposed to come fourth. Yeah, we weren't supposed yeah. to come fourth. Yeah. I felt alright. It's it's really good not knowing not knowing the clock's at because you don't watch it. You just focus on the guy in front of you. That's all I did. I stayed with the Polish guy Lewandowski, and he's one of the top guys in the world. And I just hung on. I know I just did my job. That's I just. Stayed with him. That, that was all I was meant to do, so that's all I did. It's good. Um, yeah, it was unreal. Jordy and the boys put us in a great spot. And I tried to hold on the back of Solomon and the, um, the Polish guy. Thought if I could hold on till 600, be in with a shot, and yeah, it was unreal. So much fun out there. Can we go one better this time? Let's get on that podium as well. Who's going to be passing that baton around for the Aussies? Lynchy? Oh, I reckon we're going to have Timus Harrick, Dylan Stenson, Jared West and Luke Matthews. It's a young side, but it's a talented side. I reckon they're going to go very, very well. And Jumpy. What do you reckon, Jumpy? <laughs> He's fallen over here. Been having too many pot cakes with bingo.